I would view this as a, a, a little bit of a, a, a follow-on um, uh, when Director and Foreign Minister Wang Yi was in Washington, D.C., we talked a little bit about uh, additional bilateral consultations that may take with the PRC in the days, weeks, months ahead. Uh, and these meetings are part of those ongoing efforts to maintain an open line of communication with the PRC on a full range of issues. Um, so uh, Assistant Secretary for the Bureau of Arms Control, uh, Deterrence and Stability, Mallory Stewart, uh, and an interagency uh, team um, from the U.S. government is hosting uh, PRC Director General Sun Xiaobo uh, at the department today. Uh, we have continually uh, called on the PRC to substantively engage on arms control issues and reducing strategic risk. Uh, and this engagement will continue efforts to responsibly manage the relationship and ensure competition uh, does not veer into conflict. And I think we'll have more to share uh, on the contents of that meeting uh, once it's concluded. We have long said, and this is nothing new to anybody in this room, that there continue to be a number of areas in which we believe that uh, there is opportunity for cooperation between the United States and the PRC. Examples that you've heard us talk about, to use Special Envoy Kerry for an example, is of course the um, uh, climate arena as two of the world's uh, largest uh, emitters. It's incredibly important that we uh, cooperate with the PRC in order to uh, address the climate crisis that's uh, facing the world. Another area you've heard many in this department talk about is uh, uh, addressing the um, uh, fentanyl precursors and the role that fentanyl has played uh, uh, in our country. We believe that uh, the PRC has a, a role that they can play there. But beyond that, uh, this kind of cooperation um, is uh, is what the international uh, community uh, expects uh, from the United States and the PRC.